Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. It's another unboxing. And this is a game that I got when we was in Liverpool watching Andre Ryu a week oh excuse me, a week or two before Christmas. Went into a game shop there, having a nosy, and saw this. Again it was on sale, so I thought, what the hell? I've got the uh, um, base game, so Imploding Kittens is the one I wanted. Right, so here we are with ex uh, Imploding Kittens, not Exploding Kittens. I've had to raise the camera to its full height, or raise the stand to its full height to get all the box in, because as you can see, it is fairly big. It is a fairly big box. Um, it's the first expansion of Exploding Kittens, as you could see from the um, front of the box. Uh, inside the box we find 20 new cards, a card to expand the core deck from 5 players to 6 players, and a human size Cone of Shame turn indicator. Mm. To find out what all these look like, let's get into the box and have a look. So we have our... Um, Knife of opening that seems to have jammed somehow. No, nope, I'll just take the blade out and use it like that. Um, so we have our knife of opening. We will slice into it and unpack the contents. So the first thing that comes up is the cone of shame. And then we have this. There is no insert in this box. So we have rules, we have cards, we have this plastic thing and we have the cone of shame. So let's lower the camera and have a look properly. Right, so we're back with this. I wish I knew where my um, Exploding Kittens game was. I can't see it on the shelf. Well, that's all I can see, so I don't know. But here we are. We have the rules situation. Ah, she's found it. Oh, could have been There we are. Uh, it also gives you a variant for a faster game. And a two player and a three player variant. Um, so there we are. <laughs> don't do that. You might frighten our new addition to the family. <laughs> um, so. These are all the do that. And the cone of shame, it says the first place to forget whose turn comes next will become a human direction indicator and must wear the cone of shame for the rest of the game. Rotate the cone around your head so that the correct arrow indicating the direction of play is facing forward for all play to see. Whenever a reverse card is played, rotate the cone around your head to indicate the new direction of play. And I will give you a look at that a little bit later. Ah, this is a divider. Some older box of Exploding Kittens can't hold a full deck plus the expansion deck. To fix this problem, take all the cards out of the plastic tray, remove the plastic tray from the box and turn it over. Insert the um, plastic divider in the centre of the upside down tray and put the tray back in the box. So basically that's what you're seeing. We don't have that particular box because the box I have is the um, Kickstarter wow. variant. So these will fit in quite happily. So that is not needed. But, uh, okay. um, so let's have a look at the cards first of all. At least that's how I've read it. That's only needed for the plastic insert, not for the uh, Kickstarter box. So we have imploding kittens. And this is um, a case of Unlike the uh, exploding kit, and this one cannot be diffused. So what you'll do is you'll place it face up, and when it uh, comes to the surface, whoever draws it, it explodes immediately, and uh, that means that that person is out of the game. And then we have targeted atta attacks with this variant, so you can actually pick the person you want to attack. Um, so uh, there we are. We will go. I'll have a look at those. So the artwork on these are awesome. Look at the panda. <laughs> um, 
Shark and a fellow with a <laughs> a fellow with a crossbow firing hamsters. I was a cross was it a guinea pig? No, it's like a hamster with the colour and design. Next we have Feral Cat Cards. Um uses any cat card, which is a card with no instruction on it. So it's basically a wild card for if I take these out shot off. It's it can class as a hurry potato cat or a um whatchamacallit or a bikini cat or an over prolific mummy cat or you know that kind of thing taco cat it can act as anything like that okay these are separated into the NSFW and standard decks I'm not interested in um, actually uh, keeping them separated it's just that there were the decks they were in so that's why I've left them um, so we have these ones the feral cats there's four of those cards and they're all exactly the same there's no difference in them whatsoever next we have alter the future cards one two three four of these and what you do with these is you can actually look at the next few cards or next three cards and uh, rearrange them <laughs> so uh, there are certain strategic elements in this I <laughs> that one stir deep into the bum of a cat wizard and gain an understanding of all things so, there we are. <laughs> so that's the alter the future cards and just for the sake of being able to use the cone of shame we have reverse cards so you can uh, reverse the direction of play and then we have more strategic cards allowing you to draw from the bottom of the deck rather than from the top so if the uh, imploding kitten turns up and you've got one of these in your hands you can play it to draw from the bottom rather than the top so you're not immediately removed from the game so that basically is the cards that you would get not no big deal with them there's nothing um what's what I'm looking for? there's nothing spectacular but let's have a look now that's the cone of shame let's raise this a little bit it's quite a, a large item because it'll have to be because it's human sized and this is what we get we're going that way and we're going this way to me to you to me to you or as it is these days to you to you sorry um so anyway hang on, hang on before we do anything else before we do anything else let's move this i'm going to turn the camera around there we are so as we say we're playing the game and i forget exactly which way the uh the round is going so I would end up having to wear the cone of shame so it goes around my head the only problem is with me the beard may obscure some um, ujits but never mind everybody can see the that we're going that way around the table is it? I can't see from here yeah it's that way around the table here and when it moves again I will turn it round so that you could see that way I've not put it on properly um, might be able to see the da, da, da. turn it round da, da, da. Um. actually I think I've found out what a Chinese meal feels like in um, America they come in these kind of square containers don't they oh well Right, so that is me unable to uh, lick various parts of my anatomy anymore. So, saying that, I think it's about time I said farewell. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> oh, dear God, I don't believe I said that. <laughs> oh, I want to take this off. Because it's making everything seem much louder than it actually is. 
Um, right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that's our look at um, oh, that's our unboxing for imploding kittens. Um, we will be having another video very very soon. Um, it's a quick look at the second game I bought from Harlequins, which I should have done an unboxing for, but didn't. Um, but uh, for this video, it's uh, come to a close, and it only remains for me to say, take care, God bless, and bye for now.